How to Protect Tankers from Pirate Attack Marine piracy has a long history. But only in recent years has it transformed into a well-organized criminal business posing a problem for the shipping industry and a serious threat for seafarers. Modern pirates are not interested in primitive smash-and-grab attacks. They hijack vessels to kidnap crew and steal valuable cargo. These guys are usually well-informed about their potential victim ship and adequately armed for the job. So, what are the legal means of protection against such a force? Almost all mariners can name pirates' hotspots even if waken in the middle of the night. The Gulf of Aden slash Horn of Africa, Nigeria, and the Gulf of Guinea, Southeast Asia and especially Strait of Singapore, Venezuela coast, etc., all these areas are infested with pirates who despite having similar goals, kidnap the crew, demand a ransom, tend to operate different weapons and demonstrate distinctive behavior depending on the region. The International Maritime Bureau Piracy Report shows that except those hunting off the Bangladesh coast, armed by knives only, Asian pirates are by far equipped the best. Even local fishing boat was attacked with the help of M16 rifles near Malaysia in September 2018. On the African East Coast pirates also use automatic or semi-automatic weapons, weapons, sometimes even RPGs, but those are applied for the dramatic effect only. West coast of Africa is littered with guns, and here pirates might be as much interested in cargo and valuables stored on the vessel as in crew kidnapping. Piracy was spurred in South America by the recent economical crisis and political insurgency. As a result, marine pirates are not as civilized there as, for instance, in the Gulf of Aden and are prone to crude robbery. Regardless of the nationality, pirates usually choose the same tactic. They mostly pick bulk carriers and tankers as their victims and approach them on speedy skiffs firing at the bridge. Most attacks happen at dawn and dusk when the lights are low. Reports also show that in all those cases when crews managed to deter the assault successfully they had noticed pirates approach in advance and fired the alarm. Therefore, vigilant watches both on the deck and via radar and CCTV will increase chances of deterring pirates significantly. Ideally, there might be an armed security on board taking full care of the incident. As a rule, once they convey by several shots that the vessel is going to offer resistance, the gang retreats to look for more vulnerable target. But armed security is expensive and still rather dubious acquisition. Anti-piracy weapons for ships to fight pirates. Long-range acoustic device is a non-lethal anti-piracy device which uses pain-inducing sound beam to drive away the pirates. The sonic weapon produces high-pitched noise that is higher than the tolerance level of an average human being. LRAD has been used on a few cargo and cruise ships until now. The anti-piracy laser device uses a non-lethal laser beam to provide a visual warning to pirates and distract them temporarily. The laser device can be used during both day and night and can be easily operated by the ship's crew. Water cannon is another non-lethal weapon which is extensively used on merchants' vessels. As an anti-piracy method, the device delivers a power powerful and impenetrable stream of water that blows away pirates trying to board the ship. The cannon can also quickly fill the pirate's boats to slow them down and hinder their maneuverability. Electric fence non-lethal system consists of an electric fence which surrounds the ship and prevents pirates from climbing. The system is a collapsible fence which can be folded and kept safe when not in use. Boat trap is a type of ballistic net which can be used to stop pirates' boats when they come near to a merchant ship. When in water, the net ensnares the propellers of the boats which disable the vessel, preventing it from moving forward. Slippery foam or anti-traction material is a non-lethal substance which can be used to make the deck or sides of a ship slippery to avoid pirates from climbing it. The highly viscous substance substantially reduces traction of anything that comes in contact with it, making it difficult to walk or stand. An anti-piracy technology by the International Maritime Security Network of US involves showering approaching pirates with slick, foul-smelling green liquid, which stinks and burns. The burning sensation and the nasty stink forces pirates to jump into the water, thus stopping a possible pirate attack. Anti-boarding device is an anti-piracy method which uses canisters with sharp razor wires to prevent pirates from boarding the ship. The wires act as a barrier between the pirates and the ship, which thwarts forward movement of pirates. The Shipborne Shore Launcher is a product of a UK-based company. The Buccaneer Shipborne Shore Launcher is a cannon-shaped device which uses compressed air to fire a variety of projectiles. The power and lethality of the projectiles used can vary according to the distance of the pirates from the ship. P-trap P-trap concept is a non-lethal system which helps prevent pirates from boarding ships. The system carries thin lines which float at the water level around the sides of the vessel. When pirate skiff slash boats come in contact with the lines, the later gets entangled with the engine and disable the vessel. 
Designed by a division of Japan's NYK Group along with host manufacturer Yokoi, the anti-piracy curtain is a unique method to keep pirates from climbing the ships. The system consists of a series of hoses which are dangled on the port and starboard sides of the vessel. Seawater is passed through the nozzles at a force of 0.2 MPa, which makes the hoses go in unpredictable whirling motion, generating enough force to seriously hurt anyone who gets in the way. Stun Grenade or Flash Grenade is a non-lethal anti-piracy device which produces a blinding flash of light and loud noise. Stun Grenades are used to temporarily disorient pirates' senses without causing any kind of permanent injury. Dazzle Gun is a type of laser weapon which uses green light to disorient and temporarily blind the pirates. The concentrated blast of green light can be used during both day and night. Rubber Ball Grenade as a non-lethal weapon sprays rubber bullets on detonation. The anti-piracy grenade also produces light and sound which can be used to deter pirates from coming towards the ship. Officially known as the Active Denial System ADS, the Pain Ray is a non-lethal weapon which transmits a narrow beam of electromagnetic energy to heat the skin without causing permanent damage. The wave penetrates beneath the skin which causes an unbearable burning sensation, forcing pirates to run away or jump overboard. Ships fire hoses or special anti-piracy fire hoses are often used to fight pirates trying to board the ships. These high-pressure water hoses are extremely powerful and effective to fight pirates. Special anti-piracy fire hoses also come with semi-automatic and remote control system. Technically not a high-tech anti-piracy weapon, Molotov cocktail has been used by a crew of a few merchant ships which were not provided with anti-piracy weapons or armed guards. Molotov cocktail can be made on ships using empty glass bottles, a flammable substance such as gasoline, and source of ignition such as burning cloth wick. It can be thrown on an approaching pirate boat to set it ablaze and disturb their maneuverability. If pirates do get on board ships, crew and ship's cargo can be protected using tasers, a non-lethal weapon which delivers an electric shock that temporarily causes the pirates to lose neuromuscular control. The device can definitely be used as the last resort to protect the ship's crew from pirates. This is not an exhaustive list of anti-piracy weapons which are or have been used against pirates at high seas. In fact, many of them have not yet been used or implemented on ships. However, if the situation demands, they can potentially be used as non-lethal weapons to keep pirates away from merchant vessels.